Hey guys, it's Pia here. So today I thought I would make a slightly different video. Um, a lot of you ask me if I customize all of my LPS that I buy and I have been doing that so far pretty much. I've just kept a few LPS that I haven't been customizing because they're LPS that I've been taking with me on my travels to Berlin, for example, and taking photos of them in different places. But I actually ordered a few LPS online this weekend um, that I thought would look really amazing in some photography and I'm thinking of not customizing these. So I thought it would be interesting to just show them to you guys and you know just to kind of show you guys that I hopefully won't be customizing each and every single one of my LPS. I'm also really interested to hear if you own any of these LPS and whether or not you like to photograph them. And also if you have any particular favorites to photograph please let me know that would be really fun to hear. I'm just going to show all of them to you maybe explain a few ideas like why I chose these and not to customize them and yeah hope that this is interesting for those of you who think that I shouldn't be customizing all of my LPS. So here we go. So first up, here's a really obvious one. I've been using this when I've been going to Berlin uh, instead of my mascot. I take photos of this one because it's obviously the same base as my mascot, but it hasn't been customized so it doesn't get dirty in the same way that my custom would if I would take it with me um, to different places. So I've actually been using this one for a few years already and I just think it's super super cute. The first time I saw it I thought I would totally get it and photograph it and I'm happy that I did. Next up we have one of the new LPS which is this really really adorable tiny little tiger and I just thought that the colors on it were so cute with the pink and the sort of pop blue in the eyes. Uh, this one has also come with me to Berlin a few times and I've been taking photos of it and it's just been really fun. I think it's super cute. Then next up we have this really adorable uh, cat with hair on its head. I just got this one today. Um, I ordered it from a seller on eBay. So when I saw this LPS I knew I had to have it because the colors on it are just so pretty and it has these really sort of subtle pink things here above its eyes. I don't know why it would have blush above its eyes, but it's super cute. <laughs> so that's why I won't be customizing this one. And I'm really surprised that the hair is actually in really nice shape. It's not bad in any way, which is kind of uncommon for me when I buy these style of LPS. So I will definitely be taking lots of photos of this one because it's just so adorable. And then we have this one that's also in a similar style. Um, I just find it really cute as well. So I might actually use both of these in photos together. Then we have a few poodles in a kind of similar style because these also have this sort of white base color and then they have these nice almost airbrushed looking details on it. And I don't know why, I just find these really lovely with the subtle colors and uh, the seller actually included these really cute bows on the head, so I might actually keep them because they are just perfect for them. And here's another one that's really similar to the last one, but I just thought that it was really cute with its green bow and I don't think I'll be customizing it because it's just so cute. Then next up we have this little corgi that I just also find really cute, I don't know why. I think it's because it's so simple but it has a lot of detail going on in the eyes, uh, I just find it super cute. So also interested to photograph this one. Then we have this Bon Bon Kitty. Uh, for some reason this color just reminds me of coffee and coffee makes me really happy so <laughs> I will be keeping it this color. It is just super super cute. Then we have this little Persian with, once again with the sort of airbrushed look. It's just really cute and I love the pop color in its eyes. It's just so pretty. Hasbro did a really great job with these old LPS. They just look so cool compared to the new ones. I really wish they would bring them back, but oh well. I do have one new LPS in this bunch as well, or actually two with the baby included, so I'm not discriminating <laughs> against the new LPS. But yeah, this one is just so adorable. Then we have this lamp. It's not just kitties and dogs that I'll, I'll be keeping. Uh, once again, it's the same idea with this one. I just love the pop colors in its eyes and the little bow and yeah, it's just so subtle and so cute. So I'm really excited about this one as well. Same goes with this little bird. As you guys might know, I love the color pink and I just think that this one is really adorable with the pink and the orange and the green. It just looks so pretty. So yeah, this one's really cool. Then I have a few chinchillas that also have this really sort of subtle color scheme going on that I just love for some reason. So here is the first one and here is the second one. I just think that these would be great for some sort of vintagey looking simple photos. So yeah, that's why I'll be keeping these. Same goes with this one, also super simple, but with a nice pop color in its eyes and on the nose. So this is also really adorable. With this monkey, I don't know why, I just fell in love with the colors as well. Once again, with the simple color scheme, but the sort of pop eyes. Um, <laughs> I can kind of see a common theme with all of these LPS that I chose not to customize, so yeah. Do you, if you guys have any sort of particular color 
scheme that you like with your LPS, please let me know because that would also be interesting to hear. And then we have a couple of ferrets that I just thought were really cute as well. These have slightly more sort of exotic colors, but once again, they're very simple with the design. This one is just super cute. And this one as well, even though it's a little bit more like interesting in its design. Um, if I ever do anything with this, it would probably be just to fix up sort of these little parts of it that have uh, blemishes, but yeah. I find this one really pretty as well. So here is the new LPS that I won't be customizing because I find this one so adorable. I once again love just the pop of pink in it and it is just so cute. So yeah, I'm definitely keeping this one the way it is. And the tattoo here is also so adorable. <laughs> I just love these hippos, they have the cutest little face. And finally we have two little deers that I probably won't be customizing either just because once again I love this one because it's pink and it's super super adorable. And the last one is this one. I just love the natural colors on it and I just find it really pretty because it looks very realistic, I guess, in the colors and yeah, it's super adorable. So yeah, um, if you guys thought that these were cool, please let me know which ones I should take with me on my next travels and I might actually post some photos of them on Instagram. Um, hope that you guys found this interesting. I hope that this at least answered the questions that some of you had, uh, whether I customize all of my LPS or not. And yeah, that's it. That's all I have to say in this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and see you again tomorrow. Bye.